Now, if you're in need of some warming comfort food this autumn, John Tarot's in the kitchen with just the thing. What are you cooking? We're doing a red curry. I want to try and demystify Thai curries for everybody and make it really simple. OK. Right. Because I think a lot of us get all pent up oh, about how it works over here. What goes <laughs> on. Sorry. And what's Sorry. happening now in supermarkets <laughs> is that there's so many different ingredients you can buy and it's made it so much easier. And this is going to be for under two quid for a, a, for a meal, which is great. Before you start that, uh, Weekend Kitchen on? Ah, yeah, Weekend Kitchen's back on. Yep, yeah, so we're on um, John Lisa's Weekend Kitchen. Uh, we're on this Sunday rather than Saturday because the football's on. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, 11.30. 11.30. 11.30. And then we're back again for Christmas because we've got six programmes for Christmas. Is that all Christmas stuff? Oh, Festive yeah. Festive food. Festive food, some on a budget, some whatever, celebration, the whole works. And then we've been lucky enough, thank you very much, ITV, to be recommissioned for next year. So we start filming again in January. Well, we're going uh, to spring. Uh, so welcome. good. We've got a clip. Oh, that's nice. This is going to be divisive, isn't it? This is going to divide the crowd, this one. It's going to be like, oh, I don't know about that, Jono. And there's going to be other people going to say, yeah, 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 this is going to well, be really good. I think a weekend morning, there'll be a lot of people on your side with this. Double carbs. And I take my bread roll and I put my mac and cheese and my hot dog in together. Look, like this. There. There. And then maybe, I think, probably a little bit more mustard across the top. Right there. I'll do it nicely. And then a bit of more tomato ketchup. Hey, look at that. So that's wow. Sunday at 11.30. If I ate that at Sunday at 11.30, I wouldn't need to eat again till Wednesday. That's the whole idea of it. That's yeah. it. The thing is, it keeps you going for the week. And this is <laughs> going to be the same, really. The whole idea of this is that you make a batch of this yeah. and the kids can come home and heat it up. You can make the batch and then finish off. What I'm going to do, I've got one sort of cooking here, which I'm going to finish off. I'm just going to chop some prawns into it because the prawns are going to take about six minutes to cook. Okay. And that's all they take. So if you make the curry up and you want to put prawns in, mm -hmm. you drop prawns in for the last six minutes. Now, oh my gosh, the, the so thing we're going to put up here, the recipe is for butternut squash one. You could do it with tofu if you want to, whatever you like. But you start off with cream coconut, not oil. OK. And coconut, and then you toast it with this sort of curry paste, which you can now buy. Curry paste come in packets. It's not expensive. Then you can also now buy these kits, which have got everything in them. All the lime leaves, the chilies, the paste, the coconut milk, and everything else for two quid. And it right. takes 15 minutes to make the mix. That's good. But isn't what it? I do is I toast this, the, the coconut, the cream coconut, and the coconut but milk. But this is first. the perfect level of heat. How much of that paste did you put in? Two tablespoons. It's so, like, it's just not too crazy spicy. Well, the I've other done thing, this before and ruined the whole thing. But the other thing is, it's because what we're putting with it. So I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in the bottom of this first, so that toast, that's fine. Then going to add a little bit of fish sauce, which again is available in supermarkets. Mm -hmm. And that might put you off just with the mere sound of the smell of it. But smell of it. Taste it. Put a tiny bit of soy in if you don't like the smell of it. That's fine. Lemon grass. I just bash them yeah. so that they just do that, and then they become open. So what I'm doing is really a cheats curry because what you would do is if you were making this from scratch, is you'd make your paste, you put all your aromats in, and then you go from there. This way, you buy your paste, you put your aromats in, and everybody thinks you've done it properly which is really good. Yeah. Now, in front of you, you've both got uh, lime leaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, you've got a single and you've got a double. Right. Oh, yeah. From now on, when you cook, this is a lime leaf. They're always conjoined. Two lime leaves is one lime leaf. Oh. So if you get a recipe and you don't think you ever get enough lime leaf in, it's because you're only using half the amount you need. Oh. So there's your lime leaf trick. Squeeze you it in your fingers. Like this, sort of, they they like get that. separated. Yeah. No, they come like you that. You can freeze these too. You can freeze them. Freeze Absolutely everything. right. Enjoy, you can enjoy freeze it. them. You freeze your herbs. You freeze everything. <laughs> you can. And actually, nowadays, you can buy all these aromats again, in, in all frozen as well. So that's that's good. I put that banana. there like this. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you... frozen, peel it, peel it, put it in the fridge, and then I, and then if I put it in a smoothie, I've got. It makes it cold. It's oh. a chilled banana smoothie. Sorry, John. You're okay. very clever, Mr. Um, Stephen. I've got no earpiece at all, so I don't know if there's anybody talking to me or not, but that's fine. Um, so there I've got... Now I've got butternut squash. This is the thing that, uh, that I think you're talking about, the flavour-wise. You've got so much of this, you need to have a strong sauce. Yeah. Put your butternut squash in or your tofu in at this stage, and if you're using chicken, do the same. And then You don't have to pre that? No. And I'm going to tell you something else which is quite interesting. You've got small bits of tofu... You've got small bits of butternut squash in there. Yeah. Oh, 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 nice and hot. Big bits of butternut squash will cook faster than a small piece of butternut squash. Why? Because it's got larger surface area. Why is that not the same for everything, then? <clears throat> well, there's all sorts of... Certain things do. So, like a roast potato will cook... A small roast potato will take as long to cook as a large roast potato. I didn't know that either. Exactly the same. That, I... It's really odd. 
Once you've done that, wow. you're toasted. You can sort of that chilli mixture. Did you say your earpiece had broken? It's all right now. I've got it now. They've got it back. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, coconut milk, 400 mils, equal quantities of water. So all you've done is you've bought yourself some coconut, some curry paste, which you've got. You've got your aromats in there, put on the stove, and then once you've toasted that, but you'll really toast it quite nicely, you now let that cook away and cook away and cook away until it goes soft and you end up with this lovely mixture, which is here, with your prawns now into it. Now, I like tofu. I, we were just talking about tofu. Mm. I think tofu is underrated. I know people find it a bit weird, but I really like it. I think it's a really lovely flavour. I want to eat it. Yeah. I want to like it. Yeah, well, then, then just cook it the same way as you cook a piece of chicken. Yeah. And next time I come on, I'll do tofu okay. for you. I do a proper tofu dish. I'd like But the important it. thing is when you make a curry like this is what goes with it. Rice is always good. But in Asia, you have lots and lots of herbs, fresh things and sprouts. Mm. You can buy different types of sprouts. Now I've got some mung bean sprouts. There's some picked Thai basil and there's some coriander. I put Thai basil in front of you again because it's such a different flavour and smell. It's almost aniseedy. Yeah, really aniseedy. And so what you would do if you have a meal like this, Nigel, you'd have a small amount of curry, then you'd have all this garnish across the top. So you add it now to your, your mixture. You put, mix this together like a salad. Mm -hmm. And that salad mixture, when you eat it, what happens is all the freshness and goodness of those sprouts and everything that come so together yeah. actually make the flavour of the dish something completely different. Yeah, don't see different. it as just a garnish. It's actually integral. That's it. So it's no longer a garnish. It's got to be part of it. So what you do is you put this across the top. Mm. And then what will happen, once you've done this, is that you stir it through just at the last minute, and the heat from that, that heat from that mm. curry will then make all those herbs suddenly come to life. And you'll see, go, the smell will just come alive. Right, so the butternut but squash is such a great texture in here, and all of those other flavours are so fresh and clean. And it's really not difficult. And actually, you know, a butternut squash, everybody, oh, I've got to peel it. Use a peeler, guys. Mm. Just a normal veggie peeler. It also lasts forever in the fridge, a butternut squash. Uh, uh, just, I mean, they're always... Brilliant, brilliant things. The other thing I love doing this with is little salad potatoes. I peel them mm. so they're small and then you cook them in the curry sauce. Mm. But tofu works, chicken works. The, the recipe's up. Go for it. Enjoy your curry anytime you like. Thank you, John. And it freezes once you've done that. It's really nice. And you're Thank on you. Sunday Pleasure. at 11 30. Thank you. Right, for all the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our This Morning chefs, head to the free This Morning app.